again another 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 very 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 important medicine for depression you know like right till now we have talked about medicines for postnatal till now we have talked about for menopausal for children but this is a medicine you can prescribe from age 8 to 80 for depression any age 0 to 100 you can prescribe for depression it's a such a wonderful medicine why I'll share with you a small story for this medicine Think of a young woman who is in her 20s. She's bright, she's vibrant, she's a very successful girl. She has a nice boyfriend. She goes out with the boyfriend, but one day, unfortunately, the boyfriend ditches her, dumps her, and goes away. So she was a bright and vibrant girl. She was a nice girl with a nice job. Suddenly, one day, the boyfriend or the husband maybe she was married or the husband just divorced for another woman and just left her now if you think this is a salt right it's prepared from common salt when you keep the common salt in the atmosphere what happens it absorbs moisture from the atmosphere now whenever this woman think of this woman in her 20s even in her 30s she experiences that rejection you understand rejection because she has been rejected by the husband rejected by the partner whenever she experiences that rejection she retains that emotion i have been rejected you are with me i have been rejected and because she has been rejected she gets a fear of rejection now i have been rejected what happens? Your me this medicine, natromurin, what happens? They build a wall around themselves. What kind of a wall? A wall of emotional disconnection. They won't enter into any new relationships. Won't enter into any new relationships. Why? They're very sensitive people. If you think of sodium and potassium in our body, you know, they maintain a very fine balance, right? You know, whenever your sodium decreases, your potassium increases, you get all sorts of symptoms. So your sodium is a very fine element. And whenever they get hurt, whenever they get affected, they're very sensitive. And what's their response? They build a wall around themselves. I don't want to hurt. I don't want to be hurt. I will not hurt others. I won't, don't want to be hurt by others. So, I don't need people around me. I don't need new, a new man in my life. Why? Because I had a rejection. What if this man rejects me as well? So, you know, whenever you find a woman, a man, anyone, they have experienced a rejection. They will tell you, oh, I don't want any new person in my life. You know, it may take them 10 years, 15 years, 20 years to find another new partner. Why? Because they have that fear of rejection. They have that retention. They have experienced that reje rejection. They keep it inside. You are with me? So there is a retention is there. They will keep it inside, 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 inside. And what they do? We call that brooding. You know, think about it again and again and again and again. They, that disappointment, even it was 20 years back, they will tell you, I think about it at least once a week. At least once a week. You know, it's like a film in the head. It keeps playing again and again. That situation, that words, that person, it keeps playing in their head. You are with me? So that kind of emotional disconnection you can find in case of Matt Mew. Two words you have to understand in case of when you are talking about these medicines. You know, one word is introvert, right? And the other one is indifferent. When we talk about these two words in terms of homeopathically, I talked about, if you remember, conium earlier on, which is indifferent. 
What do you mean by indifferent homeopathically? Whatever relationships they have, you know, they're disconnected with it. Parents don't want to interact. Children don't want to interact. Wife don't want to interact. Whatever they have relationships, they are, you know, they're disconnected with everything. But that's not in case of Natmu. Natmu is introverted. What do you mean by introverted in case of Natmu? Whatever relationships they have, they will hold on to it. This Natmu, she experienced a divorce. But she has two nice children. She will take care of the children. She has an old fa ailing father. She will take care of the father. But she doesn't want any new person in her life. Why? Because she has a wall. In, inside that wall, she has a children. Inside that wall, she has a father. So she'll hold on to those relations which she thinks dear. But unfortunately, outside that wall, she doesn't want anybody to come in her world. You understand? This is the difference between indifference and introversion. In introversion, whatever relationships they have, they'll hold on to it tight. They don't want any new person in their life. So she'll tell you, I love my children. I love my... I take care of my father. But, believe me, I don't want to meet any new man. I don't want to meet any new woman. That kind of... I don't want any new friends. You know, your Natmur has got one or two good friends. You know, many people you'll come across, they have a thousand friends. They have a hundred friends. We'll do medicines later on. Like Lachesis we talked about. They'll have a lot of friends. Because they love talking, they love interacting, they'll have a lot of friends. But your Natmur has just one or two good friends. Because, you see, whenever they meet people, whenever they interact with people, they feel that more I interact, more are the chances I will get hurt. So why give myself the trauma of being hurt by meeting new people? Just keep my social circuit very closed. So she has a very few friends, very few interactions that is important for your Natmur. All right? If you see here, I mentioned fear of rejection. Extremely, extremely important. That's your feature of common salt. They retain it. They have experienced rejection earlier on. Now they have a fear of rejection. If you think of a desire, point number B, desire solitude, absolutely does not want people around her. And remember for Natmur, they hate consolation. They hate sympathy. If you have a friend who is a Natmur, you'll understand that Whenever they're depressed, whenever they're sad, you get, go and tell them, oh, it's all right, don't worry. You know, they will just get mad. The best healer for Natmur is time. Just leave them alone, be by themselves, they'll gradually, gradually calm down. But whenever they're sad, whenever they're depressed, never do a charity by offering consolation. Don't offer consolation. The worst from being consoled, worst from being offered sympathy. So you see how this medicine is such a useful one. If you see point number C, dwells on past criticism, disappointment, humiliation and rejection. So old disagreements, old rejections, old criticisms, they'll retain it in the head. I shared with you that it's like a film going on in the head. They'll retain it, retain it, retain it. They'll brood about it time and again. I know we use a very interesting word for this thing. They never forget. They never forgive. They'll never forget if you have disappointed them. They'll never forgive you. They're not revengeful. They will not come in your face and take a revenge. We'll do other medicine later on. Oh, you did this to me. That's not net view. They'll keep it inside, but they won't tell you anything about it. Right? So they never forget, they never forget. They think about past events. You see, I mentioned recalls old grievances again and again. So old happenings, old grievances, old grudges, they will think about it again and again. Difficult to forgive. You know, it's very difficult in a homeopathic consultation that you'll get more symptoms out of this. They're generally quite closed. They won't tell you many symptoms. 
And it's like a co close personality you'll find with NetMew. You see, I mentioned on the guard, takes time to open up. So very closed as well, take time to open up. How is it different from Autumn Metallicum? If you remember, we did just Autumn Metallicum. Autumn Metallicum is also closed. Autumn Metallicum also doesn't interact. So how is the different shape? In that phase, depression phase. You know, in case of Natmur, although they are closed, you'll know that they are depressed. How? They shut the door, they'll sit behind the room, just by the, be by themselves. But your Autumn Metallicum, even when they're depressed, they'll have a nice family dinner. There's a smile on their face even when they're depressed. Autumn Metallicum. But in case of Natmur, when they're depressed, if you are the partner of this medicine, you'll know. Because they shut their doors, they're in their room. They won't tell you, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. We'll do a medicine later on who will tell you, I'm depressed, oh, what's happening to me? It's not like that. When they're depressed, shut their doors, put on some soft music and listen to that. That's your net mule. So you'll not know directly, but you'll know indirectly that they're not happy about something. And if you're the partner, you're wise because you won't go then to ask them about it. You'll go later on. Because if you go at that time, you're poking that soft spot, they get aggravated, they get irritated. So never offer consolation to NACMU. Right? You see, I mentioned silent grief. Why silent grief? It's always keeping it inside. There's a very important word for NACMU, silent grief. Always keeping it inside. Silent, silent grief. See, discusses with reluctance. They don't discuss their problem or trouble with others. So, so Autumn Metallicum, Natmur, both are close-mouthed, right? Close-mouthed means don't like to talk about their depression. But in case of Natmur, you will know about their depression. How? Because they will keep by themselves, they will not interact with you, they will shut the door, they will stay alone. But Autumn Metallicum, you will be able to know, that's the unfortunate part. Autumn Metallicum, you can never know with Autumn Met. Because they have a smile on their face, they are quite happy. At least they look happy. So mostly of natural depressed from love. Could be other factors as well. Could be other factors. But the response is like that. Could be like a business depression related. But the response is like that. That whatever they have experienced in the past, they don't want to go through that horrible situation again. They don't want to get hurt. They don't want to hurt others. They never forget. They never forgive. They will tell you, oh, this person, you know, they, they can tell the wife, oh, he had insulted me at so and so place at so and so time. They will tell you the exact place, the exact time where he was insulted, where he was humiliated. But he won't take a revenge. That's the unfortunate part. He won't take any revenge. He will always keep it inside. Keep it inside. That's the retention of natmu. We'll do nitric acid later on. Oh, you humiliated me. I'll make sure you're killed. It's like that, nitric acid. But natmu. Always inside. If Namu, we can uh, detect that she get depressed by the physical, uh, to cross the door, to keep themselves right? Keep themselves and alone. Autumn will not to. Autumn, autumn metallic, autumn mu neutronatum, no more like autumn metallicum. Mid more like autumn metallicum, close mouthed, like that. Cannot detect. Cannot detect. Alright? So that mu, that's important for this medicine. Really, really good one for depression. You can really help with this medicine. It will take time, but you can definitely help. So 200? 200, see. You know, if you look at this picture, it's closed, you know, keeping it inside. And they'll always come when you meet an atmure, it's always like this. You know, they don't want to share much with you. You know, even in the posture when they come and sit with you, it's always like a closed posture. 
They don't want to interact. Like cases, oh, doctor, how are you? I've been doing. It's like that in the cases. But Nat Muir is always very reserved. You know, those, those reserved personalities, very reserved, like a heavy persona. That kind of personality you'll find with Nat Muir. Heavy and reserved. Why? Because there are a lot of things inside. Right? The way of talking, you'll understand there's a lot of things inside. They're not, they're not going to tell you about it. At least not in your first visit. Right? And if you are so kind a doctor to offer them consolation, it's your last time you're seeing that patient. Because whenever you try and offer consolation to Nat Muir, they hate it. They won't come back to you as a patient. So just keep quiet and give the medicine. It's like that. Alright? Very, very useful. Atramuriaticum.